You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodriance for a Black and White Live. Tonight is the night that the GOAT, Tom Brady, launches his quest for eight. Quest for eight against the Dallas Cowboys. You guys know we cover Tom Brady a lot on this channel. We also cover Mac Jones, the new England Patriots quarterback that is hoping to have anywhere close to the same success Brady had. Look, I mean, one title would be a success, let's be honest. Uh, but if somehow, some way he could even get multiple titles, it would be a testament to the Patriots organization as well as Bill Belichick. And I think Belichick... Look, I think Belichick is the goat of coaches, but it wouldn't hurt to see him get a title away from Brady either, okay? Uh, so, we're going to get to that. Mac Jones, Tom Brady, among the best-selling jerseys. And Mac Jones has some real praise for Tom Brady because he's had to study Tom Brady's quarterbacking as part of being the Patriots. It's part of what they do to get him ready. Very quickly, I am wearing our America First Punish shirt. Make sure you go over to the merch store. You can grab it out. Promo code MACATTACK right now. All one word, MACATTACK, will get you 25% off this shirt or any other shirt in the store. Josh Allen, Mac Jones, Tom Brady have the three top three selling jerseys since August 1st. This is from Florio. Nobody moves merchandise like quarterbacks. Five quarterbacks have ruled jersey sales since training camp is open. Fanatics has announced, dating back to August 1st, the top selling jerseys in first place is Bill's quarterback and surefire MVP candidate Josh Allen. Next is rookie quarterback Mac Jones, who became a clear-cut starter eight days ago, and Tom Brady, who had been number one most of the last 20 years, lands at number three. That might be the biggest story here. Next comes Bears quarterback Justin Fields, followed by Patrick Mahomes. And, of course, Florio cannot go without taking a shot of the fact that Tim Tebow dropped out. Mac Jones, Tom Brady did a really, really good job. Hopefully, I can too. No shit. <laughs> There's inherent pressure in being any NFL starting quarterback, but not many signal callers have to follow the GOAT. Look, I think it would be um, not fair to state the obvious. It doesn't hurt that there was a one-year buffer between Tom Brady and Cam Newton. Okay, but I don't think anybody had the expectations for Cam Newton that they might have for Mac Jones right now. Even And it's a lot of it is because they seem so eerily similar in how they play quarterback. Even though it's been a year since Tom Brady elected to leave the Patriots to sign with the Buccaneers, the shadow of number 12 still hangs over Gillette Stadium. So this year's 15th overall pick, Mac Jones, knows he has some big shoes to fill as the New England's QB1. Quote, I think obviously he's a great player, Jones said this week. Via W-E-E-I. The word standard kind of hit me there because we all want to play to that standard, the Patriot way. Really, it comes down to just doing your job. So as a quarterback, that's leading people around as best as I can. And that's also executing plays. If Jones has thought much about what it would mean to the Patriots next long-term starter after Brady, he didn't say so. Quote, he definitely did a good job. When I first got here, just watching tape, I watched all quarterbacks, so obviously he was on there, and he did a really, really good job. Hopefully I can do a good job too. And as we know, he will face the Dolphins. And look, the Dolphins. He will face the Dolphins on Sunday, Mac Jones in his debut against, and this is an underrated storyline this week, he is facing Tua, who also played at the University of Alabama. The last two starting Alabama quarterbacks are facing off against each other. And look, Tua should have some, some kind of a chip on his shoulder after hearing both of his former wide receivers 
blatantly pick Mac Jones as the quarterback they'd rather have over him. Oh, Tua's got a lot of work to do this year. Uh, but look, I'm kind of rooting for Tua. I am after last year. I, I don't want to see Tua be a uh, I don't want to see Tua be a bust. And honestly, I mean, I, I'd rather see Tua have success than can than uh, Deshaun Watson end up down there. I mean, I think he's a dumpster fire, and uh, I think the organization would be much better off if Tua could end up breaking away as a true franchise quarterback. Uh, but that's neither here nor there, and that's a different story. Uh, of course, Mac Jones would praise Tom Brady. I don't, I don't think that surprises us. What is a surprise is how long Tom Brady's had a number one selling jersey, and to be knocked out by Josh Allen, another quarterback we like a lot on this channel, and Mac Jones is out selling Tom Brady, which is kind of an underrated, shady part of the story, is that Mac Jones is out selling Tom Brady's jersey. Wow. But... Look, let's be honest, a lot of people already own Tom Brady jerseys, too, to be fair, and he's still got the number three jersey. So tell me what you think, black and white live fans. Tom Brady, back tonight, the GOAT. Peace, I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.